Hi, this is uh, Light from the Forest. Uh, these are a series of video messages from Church in the Forest where we are trying to stay connected and to inspire each other to keep on helping our families, our neighbors, our community, even our world during this COVID-19 crisis. I had the pleasure of speaking yesterday with Lupita Harrison, and many of you know Lupita and her husband Kenneth. They live out in Hacienda Carmel, and they are staying close to their little Hacienda during this shelter-in-place order. Lupita joked with me that between her and Ken, they probably have about every pre-existing condition that should keep them at home. But they do have one condition that I wish we all could have. They have brave hearts that are open to change and open to the future. I saw evidence of Ken's brave heart in a story he tells in his autobiography, A Lucky Life. Ken was a sailor in the Royal Navy during World War II. And in this regard, he was following in the footsteps of his father, Hugh Harrison. But it wasn't because Ken admired his father. Ken, in fact, hardly knew his father, Hugh. When Ken was three years old, his father, uh, rather Ken's mother died. And Ken's father, Hugh, took Ken to an orphanage and left him there. And then he went out to sea, and Ken did not, did not have a visit from his father for years. And then later, Ken's father uh, remarried, and he went to the orphanage, and he brought Ken back now to this new home with his stepmother. But then he went back out to sea, and Ken was left in the care of his stepmother, who resented him, and who in fact blocked all of Ken's aspirations and attempts to have a better education. So at the age of 16, Ken decides to escape, to break out, and to, to set out on his own. So he joins the Royal Navy, and so now both Ken and his father, Hugh, are in the Royal Navy, and it's World War II. Well, it just so happened that the two of them ended up in the same port on the same day in Africa. And Ken, at this point, has not seen his father in over three years, but they arranged to meet and they sit under the African sun under a banyan tree and they, they share beer and they, they chatter for a while. And then Hugh looks at Ken and he says, son, I am so sorry. I really messed up your life. And I think about it every day. Ken looks at Hugh and he says, dad, it's okay. I am okay. What was it in, in this moment that enabled Ken to forgive his dad, that drove his father to seek forgiveness? What was in that moment is in our, our moment now. They were facing a, a dangerous situation just like we are. We don't know who will live and who will die. They're existing in tight quarters like we are which gives a person a lot of time to think. And in order to survive, they have to think about the future, and so do we. What kind of future will we create? Well, Ken and Hugh seized that moment. They, they made the very best of the moment. They made it a sacred moment. And it was especially sacred because that would be the last time that Ken would ever see his father Two weeks later, a German bomber hovered over Hugh's boat, released a bomb, and he was dead. The boat went down in the Bay of Biscay. This is our moment to make it sacred, to change our lives. This is our moment to set in motion love, encouragement, reconciliation, healing, this is our moment to set in motion our future. This has been a light from the forest. See you next week.